This video demonstrates a circuit that generates an 8-bit binary count using the 74590 counter. The 8-bit count is then decoded into hexadecimal and displayed on a two-digit seven-segment screen. The pin diagram of the 74590 is shown in this data sheet. Inside the IC, we have an 8-bit binary counter that feeds into a storage register and the output of the storage register is a 8-bit number available through pins QA and QH. QA gives the least significant bit and QH gives the most significant bit. The output of the register is available when pin 14 is grounded which is the output enable pin. The binary counter is clocked through pin 11 and the storage register is clocked through pin 13. Under normal operations pin 11 and 13 are connected together sharing a single input clock. The 74590 features direct clear through input pin 10. If enabled it will reset the count to zero. The 74590 also features count enable through input pin 12. If enabled, it will inhibit the clock of the counter, in other words, the count will be paused. These features will be demonstrated shortly. Finally, pin 9, which is ripple carryout, is used to cascade two or more ICs. The components used in the circuit are triple five timer, 74HC590 counter, MC14495 hexadecimal to seven segment decoder LED driver, and two digit seven segment display. The clock signal is generated using the triple five timer circuit operating in a stable mode. This low frequency clock operates the counter 74590 and the 8-bit binary count is displayed on LEDs. Two switches are used to control the counter. The upper push button is used to pause the count and the lower push button is used to reset the count to zero. The 8-bit binary count is then displayed on the two-digit seven-segment screen using IC MC14495 driver. The least significant nibble of the count is displayed on digit 2 using one driver and the most significant nibble of the count is displayed on digit 1 using another. The speed of the count can be varied by changing the clock speed through a potentiometer. Pressing the upper button will pause the count and pressing the lower button will reset the count to zero. In future videos, more counters and registers will be designed and demonstrated to meet different digital applications. Thank you for watching.